There we go. Oh my god, there it is. I know. That was a loud swallow. Welcome to the promos. I get really excited when I swallow. <sighs> what are you <laughs> interested in buying, purchasing, uh, contributing to, or just checking out? I want to buy comic I, books. What, what? I, I'm not interested in anything right now. Well, that's weird um, because I have something for you. Um, Do you? Yeah. Um, our buddy, uh, I'm now going to call him a friend of the podcast, uh, the inventor of the original barback. Mm. is now interested in Epizeus of the Blowhall, and I'm really proud of him because he's still going strong. It's been three years now since I've seen him. Um, it was a cool tool. It's a cool tool. I love And tool. if you guys need a good tool no, you for don't. your bar, um, go check out originalbarback.com or search it on Facebook, whatever. Um, dude, this thing is awesome. It's got all the tools that you need to make a drink of any sort. Tyler, um, yep. you know what? Yep. If you don't like that drink, you can throw your drink right into a simple human trash can. Right. Yeah, you can do that, and then <laughs> and then wash the these glass. Are, these are your items, sir. and then wash the glass and put it on a simple human uh, dish drying yeah. rack. Yeah. I They're have all a, great items. I have a beef with that, and I want to express it on Twitter because I'm all about some Twitter beefs. Yeah, and uh, if you want to beef with us, it's at eotb underscore podcast on Twitter. Oh yeah, tell us we suck. Yeah, we'll come at you. Tell us we'll how you're a bunch I of hipsters you. and all that bullshit. Jeffrey yes. will bite your shit. He's aggressive. Hey, uh, right. check. Well, well, how can I find that? I mean, could it be on the episodics of the blowhole.com website? It's there. There's a link all to our social me? links. Yeah, there is. www the World Wide Web. Yeah. Dot the World Wide Web. And it's commercial, guys. Epizootics of the Blowhole. Nice. Dot hey, com. listen. Everybody hates promos. We just try to make these wild fuck promos. That's what yeah. I say. But you know what? Don't fuck. Well, we got to do it. Don't fuck Kapow Comics and Sherwood by not going there. You should yeah. go there. Yeah. Buy some comics and shit. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> tell them Epizootics of the Blowhole at checkout. You get 15% off all of your nerdy stuff. I and mean, also, cool just because you don't like promos doesn't mean that you need to ignore the fact that Trash Blood Podcast and Death Metal Dicks are two podcasts that you should check out. Mark. Even though we talked about them in the promos. Yeah. I'm only interested if either of those are in Northwest Arkansas or they have true crime and mystery. <laughs> well, well, Trash well, Blood out. Trash Blood podcast does not have true crime and mystery. Is it in Northwest Arkansas? Death Metal, and Death Metal Dicks is not in Northwest Arkansas. But together, uh, but vice versa. Uh, oh my God! Yeah, Michi Versa. Oh yeah! Wow. Um, and just so everyone knows, we record promos after the podcast. We've all been drink- drinking, so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was yeah. a good time. Um, hey, anything you guys else? don't. Do, if you have anything to do this coming Sunday, uh, screw it. Come to Whitewater Tavern well, this Sunday. Yes, it's this Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday, August nineteenth, the one that's coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Good on you. Uh, Two p.m. Whitewater Tavern is opening up for all those people who are interested in eliminating multiple sclerosis. I don't, fu- I don't fucking like and it look, at all. Here's I don't the deal. Like it here's the deal. I don't fucking like it. It's 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 free. Oh, well, when you come up to me with fucking MS, what the fuck? You know, get, what the fuck? <laughs> no, no. I gotta hear about your MS over my Bob Marley? Fuck, huh? Fuck you. Why are you fuck constantly you guys. doing insult? Why are you insulting no, no. me? Fuck, you know what? Fuck, fuck you. you. Right. I'll hit you with my knuckle and my fuck. turquoise ring. You motherfuckers wanna come to Whitewater Tavern? It's fine. Just fucking come. It's 2 p.m. You just show up. You don't have to pay. You can get in. You could give a donation if you fucking want. Who cares? <laughs> Bring a donation. I don't give a fuck. You can just get Amazing. it for free if you want to, too. Amazing. I don't give a fucking full, care. Like a fucking full clown. Diesel. Full is, diesel. Is that supposed to be your mom? I. That's what I said. You know? Is that's that what supposed I said. Mom? Why, you know, why can't I do that impression of Tim? Anyways. But the point is, you, you can just get into white water for free, or you can give us a donation. Well, hopefully a donation. Suggest a donation, $5, but feel free to give us shit. Or thirty dollars, and yeah. then we've got uh, some stuff to auction off, and we're gonna do uh, some karaoke and lots of fun stuff. So come Take out, a hang with out us. with us. Yeah, yeah uh, it's gonna be fun, a fun afternoon, yeah. fun Mar- Sunday afternoon. Mark will sign it. <laughs> I, I you might meet, hate you guys. might meet Woodrow. Uh, no, thanks, guys. Right. Enjoy. Uh, the hey, share everything with your friends. <sighs> Goodness, we didn't. Yep. Yeah. I I don't have a fancy intro. Okay. Sometimes you don't need a fancy intro. <laughs> I think you're Sometimes. frustrated. Sometimes you don't need a fancy intro. Sometimes you just need to say, I'm Mark. I'm Tyler. 
I'm Tim and Nick. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Tim's over there fucking around on his phone. I'm embracing and technology. Welcome to another a split episode personality. of Episodics of, of the, the Blowhole. Blow Appreciate it. We had a big week, guys. Yeah, we sure did. We got into our first Twitter beef. Uh, I thought yep. you were going to talk the boil I got lanced off my ass. Well, that is directly related. When it's DIY, we don't talk about it. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, but I was excited because um, people don't beef with us. We, we don't have much of a Twitter presence. No. We but don't have much of a social media presence. We, we I mean, we haven't focused on we, that. We we're came very out, lonely. We mm. came out hard against Tool, and that brought the Tool heads out of the woodwork. Not a surprise, by uh, the way. I've tool said sheds. It before. People Ooh, who. Oh, I go. like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah the tool uh, yeah. heads out of the tool sheds. Ones of yeah. people just <laughs> swarmed us with, <laughs> with, made <laughs> what three, maybe four comments. Yeah. Legions of fan. Oh my god. <laughs> Legions. Of fan. <laughs> One guy came out hard against us. He called himself Content King or something like that. And he uh, literally produced zero content. Yeah. But he, then he, he did say, he's like, I share my own thoughts and tweets. And he's like, I've got 2,000 followers. And he's been on Twitter since 2011. Yeah. I, I literally like, told him, I was like, you've been on Twitter for pretty, a generation. I was like, you that's pretty fucking impressive. dork. Yeah, like, that's not yeah. impressive at all. 2,000. Yes, it is. No, 2,000 followers. I mean, we only have like 50. He was sure to bring that up. But yeah. Whatever. Like, we've only been on Twitter for a few months. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, at this rate, anything. in like three months, we'll be past them, right? Yeah. If everybody looks it up. But it was pretty interesting. It was I don't hilarious know. that someone felt felt that compelled by a tool post. Because all it was, I just said, tools never put out anything uh, worth listening to. Uh, right. And, and he commented back, and he was like, it's like, you are, you're that upset. Yeah, about that was Ma- no, that was Maynard's burner account. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that was an identity thing for him. You know, he's How a huge. How dare you? I, you know what? You know what's so funny to me uh, about that too? Like he he obviously took offense to a, a slight at a slight slight at yeah. Tool, and but he like is like this like comedy genius apparently. Oh and it's geez. like I don't. Tool fans don't strike me as comedians. You he know what I mean? I don't think the, there's a lot of the, of the Venn diagram of comedians. How and could tool you not? Fans. I this disagree is, highly. <laughs> they're, they're fans of Tool. It's already ironic. Oh. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so moving on from our big, uh, okay. big argument. Nick, was just, Nick doesn't want to talk I'm about sorry, Twitter. It's, so it's everyone, we, so we got into an argument knows. with some dude. It doesn't sound natural. Nick was against us bringing it up at the beginning of this podcast, and he has usurped. Uh, power here and he's <laughs> moving us. I'm forward. sorry, we gotta move on to something more interesting. You're an usurper. Like Great Lakes Brewing Cloud Cutter Ale. We're going to something I... else that Nick didn't want to do on the podcast from yes, one he, thing to another. Nick, Nick, <laughs> Nick wants to just run it dead at air least, the whole time. At least no one know, talk, no one bring up. We know anything. where no. things rank for Nick now. It's just, bre- it's just yeah. fucking boring. It's a Twitter beef. <laughs> Yeah, it's Who our finds f- it interesting it's, at all besides Tim. It's our first Twitter beef. This is <laughs> like our first, losing yeah, our virginity. We got more mileage out of Sean Nance. Oh yeah, Who? Then that guy's mediocre at best. See, that was good. <laughs> we made memes out of that. This you is haven't just even douche. given the Twitter beef time to get mileage out of it. Yeah, like, what was memorable from the Twitter beef? But he called us four hipsters crammed into a room. That's talking true. About That's true, though. And here you are about to bring up a micro brew. Man, I roasted he that might motherfucker be right. bad. Roasted him bad. You, you are. Know, you you're know, the best comedian here. You know, whenever. Well, well I don't know about well, that. I mean, yeah, it's true. Come Tyler. On now. Hey, what's going on here? What, hey, you, have you guys seen Ryan? You paid to see me cartoon. perform. <laughs> what, is he, what, talking, what are you talking about? I was about just here? there for the pizza. I don't like how things. What? Did you not just hear what was Tim? All right, no. I was, I was just there for the pizza. I was too busy being offended. Uh, Why don't you go on Twitter and hash it out? I'm, I'm fucking triggered right Hashtag now. Hashtag it out. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, what are we drinking? You, are, you always know when you've won a uh, when you've won any sort of social media beef, though, when you get to just go dat 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 with the comments, you know, one, two, three, and there's no response to it. Well, it's like, sometimes yeah. you just give up. Because you're a yeah. bitch. Sometimes you're just like, ah, it's not worth it. So I don't think carrying on. He was not, he started a beef over a tool comment. He did. It was start definitely it. worth it to him. He did start it, so yeah. he should finish it. But he did not. He bowed out gracefully. 
Okay. Now, I'll give him that. Tip of the cap to him for knowing when you're beat. He you couldn't bitch. find the right instrument. Tip of the cap. Uh, he couldn't find the right. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, Tool. <laughs> you know, I think he was probably he was probably like, I think I'm gonna finish this beef after this next Tool song, and he, he's still we're waiting. just waiting. He's still waiting. Here's the other. Yeah, he, bam, it's bam, still going. Bam, bam, bam. That's one thing I did say to him, though. I was like, how about this? You give us a shot, listen to one episode, and we'll listen to one song of Tool. Both are 45 minutes long, so it's fair. You know? I, I've been in Twitter beefs before, and they're they're crazy because you can say something completely benign, and then people yeah. just jump on you oh, from yeah. all angles. You just Three, four people just start piling it on. Wait a minute. Uh, as I recall from this Twitter beef, though, uh, you didn't jump in, but Jeffrey <laughs> jumped in. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey yeah. is very passionate <laughs> oh, about yeah. this podcast. I was conflicted when I saw that. I was like, <laughs> like hey, Jeffrey's... Ca- well, Jeffrey, <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> He's a little, little rascal. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so gay with that dog. <laughs> He's a good boy. What kind of beer is this supposed to be, though, Nick? Thank uh, you. It's an ale, but it's it's hoppy. I was ready. Yeah, to I was move just going to give you the red. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it is um, kind of hoppy. But you know what? I mean, this, what is I, it? I didn't like it. It's like right on the label. Yeah. It says cloud cutter I, ale. I was trying to give you the opportunity oh. to introduce a beer that you brought, and you're Jeez, like, he's leading you in. Yeah, it's right on the label. Just read I, it. I'm, I'm not sober. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, this Twitter beef, it was crazy. It Great was like brewing. seven to oh eight god. comments, guys. <laughs> oh my god. This we punked this fifteen year old kid who had nothing. Oh, to he do was not fifteen. <laughs> no. I found pictures of him. He's definitely in his twenties. He called us hipsters, and then I found a picture of him wearing a Hawaiian shirt with a backwards Columbia hat. So he's at like cool a as food fuck. Ve- like a food truck or some shit like Perfect. that. I'm like So not a hipster at all. No, no, definitely not. It's pretty good though. Cloud Cutter Ale yeah, by Great Lakes right. Brewing Company. Yeah, it's hoppy, it's but okay. it, it's it's my least favorite of the ones that I bought. Yeah, but I don't it's, like it's it. not terrible. I don't like it. Um, yeah. but I got this whiskey here. Hey, uh, we, I know we've been we've been talking about uh, bringing things local a little bit, and yeah. I have a question for um, especially um, Tim and intern Ryan because you guys live in Argenta. Sure. Um, so we, Amber and I went to this concert uh, a few weeks ago and it was at Verizon arena. Okay. But we parked over right across from four quarter and core right. in that parking lot and paid like 10 bucks or whatever to Should park just there. Parked at my apartment. Yeah. Well, yeah, but we kind of had, with the kind of thought we there's might paid back parking and forth in or whatever. Now? To be there fair, has been. to be fair, oh. when you park at Tim's apartment, there's like tow signs everywhere. Yeah. So it's a little so, sketchy. Yeah, sometimes. I, yeah. I could have directed you. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. I've spent the night at two. We parked there, and the dude in the golf cart was there. And so he said, you guys go into the concert, want want, want to lift. You feel like a king. Yeah, you feel like a king. It's like the six-passenger golf cart, and he just cruises you over there across the... It's uh, Buford. Across the way. And, um, yeah, so here's the thing. He pulls up at at the arena, right? You get off, and then there's this, like, moment. (laughs) Do I tip him? I didn't tip him. No, you don't need to. Oh, okay. okay, so I'm not I've supposed always to tip this guy. They, they're called yeah. safety officers. They're paid right, that's to do what I that. Kind of thought. So uh, we uh, should also tell people. But he wasn't there when we got out of the he, concert. He that's what I was like, this is when I need it at, yeah, at 11:30 yeah. at night, not at when I'm 4:30 in yeah. the afternoon. He's, right. he's driven me one block before. <laughs> I just came <laughs> out so here. I, do. I had 14 Bud Light limes, and I just saw Jason Aldean. Do you think I can even walk right now? Excuse me, sir. Right. How thank- am I going to get home to watch <laughs> but, Die Hard? But that was too. the thing. Like he <laughs> kind of hesitated you for, too. Thank you for giving me this <laughs> lift for two blocks. Can I interest you in it? An open copy of Die Hard Two. <laughs> it's got it's got the interactive menus, but he kind of hesitated too, and then and an then airport. it was kind of like he kind of like I felt like he kind of zoomed off a little quickly when I didn't give him any cash. Nah, they're cool. And okay, you know, like one of them hangs out at Crush Wine Bar, just sitting there. When, yeah, when it's slow out or whatever. So you can always go in and like, give me a old tip of the cap for the. All right, <laughs> Mark's for the. <laughs> Mark's, Mark's impression of some like Arkansas dude who keeps hagg- <laughs> haggling with Die Hard Two is hilarious to me. Uh, I we need to tell people though that, <laughs> that for those who listen to this that may not live in Arkansas, there's a lot of cool shit happening here. Arkansas gets a bad rap, but honestly, North Little Rock, if uh, it's, if it's you're not cool. from here, it's That's awesome nice because, like you were saying. 
There's the guys. They're the safety officers. They're not cops, but they're just walking around. They have badges. Sure. I don't get it. They have badges. They're security badges. Yeah, but they're not. They don't, cops. they don't have guns. I think they might be deputies. Man, that's or the something. fucked up thing know. about being a security guard. Like you are empowering this person by making them look like a cop. But, but they, they you are definitely you're definitely definitely getting your ass kicked by someone who wants to commit a crime. Yeah, yeah. Like you're, I think you're he's not, just supposed to radio for help if if he like sees a, some shit. Yeah, it's like down. neighborhood watch kind of. Right. Who better bust up my walkie-talkie? <laughs> no <laughs> danger. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I tell you, uh, there is a lot of cool shit going down. Uh, I, I gotta finish shitting my pants first. <laughs> better get in my golf cart and peel the wheels. <laughs> all the horsepower on this thing. <laughs> I actually, uh, I went to a restaurant this morning for breakfast. It, it's right across the river in Little rock it's called at the corner and it's a uh, pretty well known Catchy at this name. point yeah no and it's literally at the corner but they do this lots like, of things happen at the corner just uh they do high-end breakfast like poutine yeah and all this shit and when he says high-end he means expensive high end, yeah <laughs> yeah i spent like 20 dollars there by myself today yeah. on Whoa. coffee and breakfast but it yeah, was like it's really expensive i'll tell you it was so good that i was eating it and i look i don't know if you guys have ever done this but i was eating the breakfast and i looked down and I see a hair in my biscuits and gravy. Oh, no. And I w- it was so good that I was just like, I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. And no! kept eating. Kept no, eating. that's not what you do when it you're was, paying you that much for a meal. No, no. Yeah, no. Oh. It was gravy. It just went you into the gravy. You at least get a discount. And I never saw it again. Have you ever had food that's so good that you see a hair in it and just yes. pretend it's not there? No, when it's that yes, good I, I find something wrong with it, Intern I send it Ryan's back so shaking I can his head, yes. more of it. That's everything Ryan eats has his own hair in it. It's one hair. Come on. What's the big deal? Ryan's hair is so salty, he uses it as seasoning. <laughs> he just shakes his head off into the uh, plate, like Scra- a s- scratches like his head. Like <laughs> I, I see him cooking, I'm like, what is that? That looks like rosemary. No, that's a bundle of my hair. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but he's, Excuse me, sir, he's, I'll have the pube special. Ryan sweats French, while he right? cooks. <laughs> yeah, man, it's real, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. When, when, Pe- more uh, money, more pizza, man. <laughs> when, <laughs> when, he wants to, when he wants to season his food, he just sweats into it. <laughs> so, Hey, sir, who are you? I'm like the fucking head chef here, man. Your food's gonna <laughs> taste better because I listened to Power Man 5000 while I cook it. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, they're going on tour with Seven Dust, and you I'm totally in. Never heard those fucking songs. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> so you wouldn't eat. If you found a hair, you wouldn't. It, no, fuck no. You've man. never had whenever, food that's that good. No, you whenever, just didn't want to stop. Whenever I find, whenever I find shit wrong with the food, if it's good or bad, I send it back, and I'll eat a second plate. Yeah. Oh, I was well. I was at Skinny J's last weekend or two weekends ago eating brunch, yeah. and I looked at my coffee. I drank half the coffee, and then I looked down at the coffee mug, and there is some straight up lipstick on oh, it. Oh yeah, man, Skinny J's yeah. <laughs> quality has gone down. Why did you wear lipstick to breakfast? <laughs> I'm not, you know, that's not a, that's not lipstick. a dig. That's not a dig. I swear to God. Like the last time I ate there, I got like really sick. Like the next day. Well, they changed oh, the menu, so okay. Yeah, ever since Ryan started no, this working was, there, this was before Ryan started working there, so I can't make fun of him. <laughs> I uh, Disney night. night. I was eating with a coworker one time. <laughs> May the Lord bless at you. P.F. Oh. Chang's. Uh, over in West Little Rock, and uh, she had a screw (laughs) in her rice. Now I would I I, I could not ignore that. I would send that back. Well, those Asian people. We didn't send it back. (laughs) (laughs) It's not that. It it was just kind of like, oh man, if you would have bit into that, like Jesus Christ, you know. So like. Fuck, man. So we flag down the flag down the server, and we're like, uh, you might want to find where this is from. And sure enough, the rice maker had like a screw missing, like it had just fallen out. Oh and no, so that's a part it's of schizophrenia. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's an extra iron. <laughs> the rice maker. <laughs> what is this? Was this rice maker like Frankenstein or something? Why did he have a <laughs> no, screw? No, <laughs> no the, the machine. The rice pun. maker. It's pun mark. I it's, like. It's not I a like pun. how this it's con- not a, a conceptual pun. I like a conceptual it's not, pun. No, I like how this podcast teeters on just the raunchiest of raunchy and then fucking dad jokes. <laughs> Yeah, like we covered. We really do like run the gamut Tools, as far as man. Toolshed. Did you ever have like, like started a new job and just have a great joke that you're super proud of, and like no one knows you yet, and you bust out a joke? Okay, oh, tell no, us every joke. job yeah, that please, I please go. So into it, I yeah. just started a new job, and I'm sitting there, 
And oh, all, that's what you were doing. Yeah. Setting yes. this up. All these girls, okay. these girls are talking about like, um, they're talk for some reason they're talking about. Why are you talking to girls? I'm not. I'm just they're well, they're around like the nurses station. Tim, and Tim setting up franchises. <laughs> they're, they're, <laughs> <laughs> so my wild oats. No, I'm at I'm at work and these girls are having a private conversation loudly at the nurses station. Yeah, and they're talking about breastfeeding in public. They're like sweet. And I heard one of them go, you know, it's super weird when like someone's, you know, breastfeeding at uh at, at a high school baseball game. And I was like from across the room. Yeah, especially when the, he's on the team. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just like, hey. Uh, <laughs> but it's always a good feeling when <laughs> nobody knows Ryan you. Ryan might be dying. I, I know, no, nobody know. knows you yet. And you uh, bust out a nice one liner like that. And they're like, hey, this guy, you know, like it was so right. it was hey, so yeah, good. You know, this guy <laughs> chiming in on a breastfeeding <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, hey. banter. What you are know? you, some hey. kind of funny man? Yeah, what do you think you're funny? I'm funny like a clown. <laughs> yeah, that was, no, that was a better pressure than me. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Yeah. 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 That's all I got. <laughs> I can't really do Joe Pesci. Uh, you can. Well, Nick does yeah, better. All right. Yeah. Yeah. He did last. No, we can't put him on the spot. Can't, can't. No, you, Nick's he, very funny. How Henry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, <laughs> yeah. funny how. Look at this no. fucking stooge over in the fucking corner. Yeah. Stab a fucking ice pick through his fucking. He never shuts the fuck up. He's got his backwards fucking hat on. <laughs> Look at him. He looks like he's from the fucking nineties. Ryan, what do you have to Joe say? Joe Pesci. Fuck, fuck man, just going back. Just barely a sounds like so your mother. So going at P. <laughs> P. F. Chang's man. It's not, it's not fucking Asian. It's fucking Mexicans, man. It's, I'm telling you. Oh my god, what is happening here? That's the conversation Ryan's having behind our backs. <laughs> no one knows That's, what he's doing. He's just over there laughing. <laughs> Ryan might be on the spectrum just a little. Bit. I think he's on acid or something. Whoa. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Tyler, what do you what do you have going on? You're yeah, pulling you, up something. Um, well, I give you two options. Yeah. Oh, we got options. Do you guys want to talk about um, the guy at Kroger who was working in the meat department, mm. or do you guys want to talk about uh, the Birdman of Alcatraz? I'm always going to talk about birds and if they involve people. Nah, I'm going meat every time. The, a, a meat Tiebreaker dude ten. Uh, I'm yeah. going Meat Man at Kroger. Whoa! What the? F- you don't want to talk about Birdman? Yeah, I, want to talk I don't about- want to talk about no rapper. I don't know anything oh about it. God. I want to talk about Meat Man from Kroger. I love Kroger and I love meat. <laughs> Look, birds. Yeah, I'm with birds them. are weird. People who own birds hey, are weird. As a man who worked at a supermarket, pe- career supermarket workers are weird. Okay, All so right, we'll, fine. we'll yeah. start with we'll no. start with a Meat Man. We'll move on to Birdman. Whatever. Okay, Meat Man. <laughs> I'm over it. Mark shot down. I'm yeah. done. Let's Sorry, not move Tyler on to is the, the content man. king. So I'm the content king. So that's who I was arguing with. Yeah. No, that was my I, uh, 13 year old nephew. My lovely wife and I. Uh oh, Amber went Alert. Grocery shopping. <laughs> that was pretty good. I like oh. that too. <laughs> um, I thought it was good. A couple weeks ago, and we we're like, oh, you know, we usually try to like mix up the meats. You know, we get like some salmon, some steak, some lamb, some, some chicken, some pork chops. Dropping, you know, right? whatever. Um, salmon's not a meat; it's a fish. Me and my wife like to mix up the meats. Mix up the meats. Uh, and so we go, and usually we just grab the prepackaged stuff, but I was like, let's talk to the butcher, see what he it's says. always you a know. better deal. Yeah. So. Okay, is he really a butcher? Yes. Maybe. Well, is he, he had really the a butcher? Meaty, he had the, is he a the, baker? the bloody white coat on, so, you know. If he's bloody, he's a butcher. Is he a candlestick maker? Thank you. Thank okay, you. I knew where you were going with that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, the bakers are over in the corner. Um, so I said, I said, I don't know, like I'm looking at the meats you got cut up here. Um, I can't really decide if I want the ribeye or the strip because he had the big strips, you know, in the, yeah. in the glass, under the glass, big old fat cow. And I mm-hmm. said, what do you think? Like, what do you think I should go for? Like, m- you know, make me an argument, man. I'm making minimum wage. I don't give a fuck. Well, if it was up to you- me, I would tell you that the stakes don't <laughs> matter. It's all about the movie that you will be watching with the stakes. <laughs> And in this case, if that movie is anything other than Die Hard 2, <laughs> you, know, you can eat yeah. shit. Okay. <laughs> if it's anything other than Die Hard 2, you can eat shit for all I care. <laughs> Part of your impression is you put on this very serious face and you move in. It's almost like you're trying to seduce somebody. That is exactly what I'm trying to do. <laughs> As Die Hard 2 is the ultimate seduction. You kind of, you, you kind of <laughs> like the uh, like the country um, Hannibal Lecter. 
No. The way you kind of. I'd like some beans, fava beans, and Die Hard 2. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, so he, so I said, you know, gave him the choice. Ar- make, you know, you know, ribeye, change my mind. I'm going ribeye every time, by the way. So I said, ribeye or strip? And he goes, Let's go strip. Well, it kind of depends on what you're looking for. Do you feel like a ribeye or a strip? Oh, he's making a so now he's real getting to, hard art. He's getting into <laughs> shtick. Oh, my God. He's fucking with you. That's what he's doing. Yeah. And he just stared at us, and Amber and I were like, I was like, well played. Mm. Uh, I'll take a ribeye. Yep. Hey, I think you did it, though. I, he, yes. He, he did it for you. You don't realize. That's how That's how good of a butcher he is. <laughs> he he sold me on the ribeye the, without even having to say anything. It's not often that people or that's why, like to talk to the meat man. Yeah, or that's why he's back there just simply chopping up dead cow mm. and not doing anything else like figuring out string theory, you know? <laughs> oh. Oh, let's talk about string theory. Do you want to? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like yarn. Nick's already go, he's already bitching his <laughs> lines. I know. <laughs> don't like yarn. <laughs> Nick, you you got a lot of fucking complaints over there. Let's yeah, hear Nick's, a topic. Bring something up, Nick's man. Nick's crabby. You know uh, what it is? Am Nick I went crabby? On, yeah. Nick went on the Nick went on the keto diet and he's got oh, the keto flu. He's all fucked right. up in his Maybe. head right now. Maybe that's what uh, it is. You got to get that about clear meats. mind. You got to eat more nuts. You're all carb and starved. Cheese. Uh, maybe you're all carb starved and fat drunk. That's what he's, it is. He's, I'm just drunk fat. <laughs> yeah, I, I went to Kro- <laughs> I went to Kroger. <laughs> he's like, yeah, 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 all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I went to Costco last weekend, and we yeah. bought like eight hundred dollars worth of groceries. And God, all, like damn, ninety percent of that is meat. Dollars, yeah, dude. I stocked up on meat. It's it's where'd you put impressive. it? Yeah. In in my uh, freezer. Did you did you take a nice chest to bring it home? Uh, yeah. Are you shitting me? Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars. Yeah. What? Man, you. I'm good for probably. No joke. I'm probably good for the next four to five months. Wow. Man, you gotta you gotta learn how to hunt, dude. Get nah, your own meat. Nah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kill seems something. like a, seems like a lot of work. It's N- primal. Nick's idea of hunting is looking through the meat freezer. Man, the Sam's Club. <laughs> yeah. The first, deer, the first time I killed a deer. The first time I killed a deer, I was shaking for about twenty minutes. I was just. It was the best feel. I was like, oh, that's I insane. Should, I just thought. Hey, I Jamie. Should Jamie. Kill more Jamie. Often. Jamie. Look this up. Jamie. Look this up. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, the, the thing about it is when you kill a deer, you just get really in touch with nature. You get connected, man. It's crazy. Jamie, look it up. You sound like Joe Rogan over there. It does. <laughs> start he was talking shaking. about, yeah, ca- start talking was shaking, about caveman no, coffee. No, he was shaking for 20 minutes, and then he finally wiped the cum off his belly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> he got up and made himself a glass of Gatorade. <laughs> um, d- yeah, I, I should have checked myself after that. It was, it was an amazing feeling. It was a f- spiritual feeling. You just feel so connected with nature. It know? was great killing something. That's what it was. Yeah. I yeah. watched something expire in front of my eyes that I did. And I made a terrible shot. I shot that fucking deer right through the neck. Nice. And it was all like, it oh, ran I mean, for nice. about 20 yards and then it fell down and then it got up and then it ran behind oh. the tree stand. And I thought it was dead, and I'd climb down the tree stand and uh, started walking towards it. And the fucking thing lifts up his head and looks at me, and then it just goes, Ugh, and like, uh, it's lays so, uh, down. You're so and serene dies. and connected with nature at that point. I, 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 love, never, I love how uh, Nick's so disgusted. Even I'm not though, disgusted. Even though that's he just me, bought 700 me. pounds yeah, worth yeah. of meat. Nick, <laughs> Nick, yeah, but, yeah, but like, Nick, Nick you thinks, actually killed something? That's fucked yeah. up. Anyway, I got to go eat some meat. Yeah. No, I, Nick, I, I killed deer. Nick thinks yeah. it's I killed uh, deer, surgically, rabbits. He thinks it's surgically removed. Yeah. Just, oh, true. here's a cut of steak. Okay, we're just going to remove this under they, anesthesia. They, yeah, they put it. Sew you back up. Just going to patch you back up, Gertrude, and you can go out and eat the cud. That's not how it happens. <laughs> no, uh, it was a crazy. That's feeling, right, though. Nick. You killed a rabbit and fed it to a bear. <laughs> I that's didn't realize. True. Hold on, I <laughs> no, didn't realize no, no, it at the it time. Was, it, it was a lion. I didn't realize it, it wasn't at the a time. bear. It was a lion. Oh. Thank you, sweet deer, for this Sorry. meat you've provided us. And uh, in exchange for this meat, I will give you a copy of <laughs> Die Hard Two. It's a lot of <laughs> copies of Die Hard Two in the forest. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like porn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I didn't realize it at the time that I had made one of the most unethical kills ever by, like, shooting this thing through the neck. Um, but my father-in-law saw it, and he was like, you made the best shot to preserve the meat. <laughs> like, like, all right, cool. 
uh, unethical. You were shouting racist you just, things as yeah. you should. Yeah. You killed the dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you fucking half breed. <laughs> <laughs> Too many Mexicans. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna build a fucking wall to keep you out of here, deer. But goddamn it, I'm eating clean tonight. <laughs> Yeah. Stupid homophobe. <laughs> Faggot. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, call back. <laughs> that deer was sure prancing weird. <laughs> Look at him run up that hill galloping around like some sort of queer. Uh, well, Bambi man. died like a bitch. Yeah, you should... Uh, Your mother. You should kill more animals, man. That's what I'm saying. Actually, it's a lot of fucking work. You gotta wake up at like three thirty to get at the field no. at like yeah. four something in the morning. Yeah, but you get meat forever. That's yeah. The gro- that's yeah, a grocery you don't store. have to. Yeah. You don't have to drive to Memphis <laughs> or spend eight hundred dollars at it. Sam's. It's, you drove no. to Memphis? Yeah. Why in Memphis? Uh, you know, they I got can't. Sam's uh, Club there's here? Co- no, there's Costco. No, it's Costco. Costco. Costco thing. No, it's not. Costco I, I is better than uh, Sam's Club. Yeah, and I can't. Uh, I can't fault him because Lauren and I have been talking about starting oh. to make monthly trips out to Memphis to go you to Trader Joe's. Ooh, it, I love yeah, Trader Joe's. I mean, Joe's, they have man. a lot of really good stuff. Like the quality of everything at Costco is way better. Beat, <laughs> beat. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan watching sound gave Tyler a thumbs up because his burp peaked out. <laughs> Why do we let him do sound? I don't, I don't get know. it. Like, I don't know. Wow. He's just, he's he doesn't a, even have headphones. He's on. the sound cop. That's all he is. He's <laughs> just right. why, making sure that things just keep rolling along. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're the you're shut the, the fuck up. He's the hall monitor of sound. Jesus, yeah. giggly, giggly over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I, and then we got, we'll go to Beal or uh, we'll go to just whatever. How just, late would you stay out on Beal? Will you stay till they close it at like still, five o'clock? No, in the he's morning still or? late, like five p.m. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's late for now. Nah, earlier, probably we leave Memphis probably one o'clock in the morning. Yes. Oh, really? You, you, leave. Drive back. you don't stay? You no, just drive I mean, back? If we're, no, if we're planning, like, usually we get there, we'll go to like a restaurant, we'll get breakfast or something like that, and then um, we'll go to Costco and then we leave. Or if we're planning on like staying there for a while, we'll stay there for a while. We'll get back at like ten o'clock. We'll get back to Little Rock at like such nine. vague and <laughs> relative terms. Like, <laughs> hey, I mean, I didn't get anything that's, out uh, of that. That's good pod right there. If we decide to stay for a while, it's, we'll it's stay g- for a while. We yeah. get- <laughs> so, anyways, let me tell you about this total bitch I punked out on Facebook. Oh my god, we we're arguing about politics. It was so fucking cool. I'm, what I'm asking is, if you- anyways, go check out our Twitter. <laughs> If you go, we to- argued with one guy. It's not interesting at all. Bro. Jesus Christ! Twitter beef. Mm, uh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Nick's crabby. We take a look. I know. Of he's I'm, 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 I'm hot today. Oh, oh man. Man. Mark's you, chill because it's his birthday. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Take, well, it's, 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 him. Yeah. this this uh, reminds me. This. Uh, oh, go ahead, Tyler. You well, I, I was just <laughs> my question is B. You go to you said you go to Bill Street. Yeah. So do you go when you have to like show your ID at the at the gate or at you know whatever. I don't it, show any gays my ID, <laughs> <laughs> but I do. <laughs> Terrible <intro. laughs> but I do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I do. Uh, so, I sure right. do. Well, look. While we're on the topic of hunting, something's been kind of like bugging me, and it's mm-hmm. I don't n- understand Pokemon Go. People hunting for Pokemons around everywhere. We talked about this, and well, I want to. Should have de- brought this up like two years two ago. I know, ago. I know. Yeah. Well, well, the, we were talking about Mark ate, ate some poke today. Yeah, and the poke bowl. Then we got going on about Pokemon, and yeah. I was wondering because I missed the boat on this. I'm 36, and Mark, you're 33. Three. Now? Tyler's what 30, 34. 34. So we're all a little too old, just missing the Pokemon <laughs> train. It, to me, when I when it came out, I was like, "Oh, yeah. that's for kids." You know, I'm not a kid yeah. anymore. It's for, it's for kids. I don't get it. But there are now still like twenty to thirty year old people that are into Pokemon. Yeah, and Nick is a ripe twelve and, years old, so he right. was. Uh, I don't understand Pokemon. <laughs> Nick, explain Pokemon to us, because we I don't know Ooh. what it is, and I don't know why people are still into it in their twenties and thirties. Well, uh, Poke- I mean, how far back do you want to go? I want the full history. <laughs> okay. I want no, from Pokemon in, to it Yu-Gi-Oh. It started, started years ago in, in Japan. started in Seoul, South Korea, actually. Really? Oh, shit. Uh, no. oh, my God. She actually knows oh, yeah. this shit. Yeah. Shit. How actually, old are you, Nick? Uh, You're 30. 14. No, 14 no, moons. No, Joe, I'm 28. Okay. All right. Jesus. No, I, I, I was never into Pokemon at all. But you know what it is, right? You had buddies yeah. that were into it. 
Yeah. I feel like we should all just kick Nick's ass for being 28. I know. Like, <laughs> like after this is over. Have you ever you had your ass kicked? No. <laughs> all right, well. No, I'm pro- I'm, oh, I, I can do this podcast. I can fight. <laughs> and take this relationship to a new level. Tell us yeah. about this Pokemon bullshit. What, why are, what I want to know, I don't care what it is. First really. off, I Ryan's know, wearing a Pokemon shirt. Why don't you ask him? No, I want to know why <laughs> adults are into it. Why? I don't know. What's I, going I don't, on there? I don't get it. It's always the like weird looking like fringe nerdy people who are like crazy. Into Not even it. nerds. Fringe nerds. No, like, you know they what I mean. Like they got, they got they got like thick glasses. They're not cool and... enough to be nerds. No. It actually is from Japan. Okay. No, I it's knew from it. Seoul, Why'd South we Korea? ask Nick? He said know. it with conviction. You know, I really believed yeah. him. You know, like no, I'm, uh, I'm taking Mark's place. You can really say anything with conviction, and people. So, will anyways, buy it. here's what I'm here. Here's <laughs> what I'm saying about Pokemon. Why am I getting what the picked fuck? on? What, what the, the fuck? fuck? What the fuck? You know, I walk into it. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? What What are you doing with your fucking phone? You're walking around. You're getting points. What is this bullshit? I'm 36. I go to Costco. I'm listening to Bob Marley. Look, I buy. We're, all- going, we're going to Trader Joe's. I'm 33. There's hey. other things to do with Lauren. Yeah, fuck, fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. I go to Costco. I buy all the Pokemons I want. I don't gotta go hunting here? for them. I don't gotta go hunting here? for my Pokemons. I just buy them all at Costco. What's what the big deal? What the fuck is going on? Fuck with you guys. You know from what? Southie. I don't even. Hey, understand. you know what I'm doing? I'm, <laughs> oh I'm, uh, God, you know, I'm fucking, I'm finishing math equations on chalkboards with Ben Affleck. I work construction. I'm very fucking smart, but I blow loads and broads all the time. Whatever. Oh, my God. You get a little personal there. (laughs) No, no, that was Matt Damon. Oh, okay. That was just part of the... Did he blow a load in Mini Driver? Huh? Did he blow... (laughs) Did he... Did he pop one in a Mini Driver in the movie? Like, You know what, Tim? I I, I have to say this. I can never do an impression of Tim. It's it's always going to be terrible. It's either going to come out Italian or like some weird. It's a spice to me, the bowl. Hey, Tim, I come down to my restaurant. It's a sexy Italian dressing. It's new. Meanwhile, you're the guy that's Italian. Yeah. So you say. What, <laughs> what the true. fuck is going on with this podcast? Know. I don't know. This is all over the place. Nick like, got why do you, why do you you guys insulting me while you were insulting Nick, and then he had to <laughs> yeah. shift his focus back yeah. to you. Yeah, come on. I'm, guys, I'm all hot today. I'm, I'm all hot. What the fuck you guys talking about? You guys want to hear about the Birdman of, of Alcatraz? Oh, yeah, please. why not? Yeah. His impression's really good, Well, though. guess what? It's time for another walk on, on the wild, wild side, side with, with Tyler. Tyler. I love it. I love that, too. <laughs> Every time. Every time. It's perfect. That's, that's like the sound of a wildcat or also what I like to think, like the sound you hear in hospice after someone dies. I think. Oh, Veloc- when all I the air Veloc- is going Raptor. over their vocal yes, cords. Yeah. I've seen that, man. It's oh, weird. I have too. It's fucking creepy. Yeah, it's it's real gross. And I, yeah. one time I had a nursing student that was there and the patient died. And uh, yeah. Did they I, quit nursing? No, no, no. But the, 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 you know, we turned the patient and all the air rushed out and it went. <laughs> and I was like, holy oh, shit, they're still alive. And then the nursing student freaked out. They're like, oh. I was like, dude, I'm fucking with you. Like, it's fine. It's just so wait, his, his chest was like visibly like. No, because there's still some air in the lungs. And sometimes all, what it takes. Is, I'm not. I'm not even trying to. Yeah, be funny. Like when so someone what? when someone dies, like they, their last breath, maybe like, you know, stays some air stays in the lungs. And, uh, you know, when you turn them or lift them up or something, okay. all that air rushes out over the vocal cords. That's how sounds produced. The air rushes over the vocal cords. Oh, yeah. That's man. how I'm talking right now. But anyways, it comes so you out. you just get a grunt. It comes out all at once like. <sighs> <laughs> that should tell you Tim's sense That's of humor. Tim's sense of humor that he fucked with a college student <laughs> by rolling a dead person. Well, over. well, 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 ju- junior college. <laughs> The plumber student. I'm coming. Quick, get the paddles. I'm going to They go up actually shit oh, themselves. Oh, great. He's dead again. You Thanks. can also do that with dead chickens. Oh, really? You squeeze them and it goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the concept of the rubber chicken yeah. came from. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, you just squeeze that last breath at him. <laughs> you see, oh. I decided to take a, make a practical joke. It was funny. <laughs> I'm going to do that with whatever deer I kill this year. I'm going to, like, push on the ribs real quick. <laughs> oh, <too>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, don't have, they don't really have vocal cords, though. Oh, yeah, they, they do. It, yeah, of they course they grunt. Do. They'll sound like the, yeah, it'll probably sound like the sound like the Yin Yang twins. <laughs> yeah. There's a grunt and a, <laughs> grunt and a moan from when Mark presses into him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, 
What if I pushed on the deer and as the air escaped, it's like, what do you see, my dick? <laughs> <laughs> what, what if it's just like, You're like oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you, you press on the deer's stomach, it's like, thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god, I will become more powerful. I'll push on the side shake. and it's like, shake it like a salt shaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Or what if some like green like. You know, very Discharge? ethereal stuff comes out of its mouth. Oh, I'm gonna make a like, wish real quick. But like then. floats towards you and like goes in your nostrils oh, really quickly. Hell you, become, yeah. you become one with the deer. Oh, and then hell every, yeah! Every full I hope every full happens. moon Mark prances around his yard. <laughs> yes. Dude, if I became a Eating deer acorns, <laughs> if I became a deer god because Whoa, I killed yeah. it, like inherited the spirit of the deer that I killed that'd be fuck badass nah, yeah. nah, nah this is like a freaky Friday situation Man, that's where what you they just need become to, a deer that's for a what while. we need to do I would yeah. watch that horror movie instead of werewolves we need to find hey. someone who turns into a deer wolf or something yeah. like you should that, take you know? that that Deerwolf. deer's <laughs> yeah dude a, we- a were deer you could, a weird deer. deer you could yeah. take that deer you could take that deer, yeah. deer. soul and commandeer it Oh man! You know, Mark, you could write that I screenplay. I fucking t- hate. I <laughs> Tim fucking Allen hate would start in that movie. <sighs> <sighs> it's good comedy, and then someone comes in with a terrible pun, and just I love it. Yeah, man, what the buck? Oh, oh wait, Mark's becoming himself. Read history. Read history. <laughs> <laughs> terrible okay. puns are the worst. Just the worst. <laughs> Let me introduce you guys to a fellow named Robert Franklin Stroud. Real quick though, Mark. No, no, no. no Mark, read it. No, no you make it, it. You make it, a great. It, you make a great point there. You've made oh. twelve great points. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I like that a lot. Here. Cheers. Cheers. I'm right. gonna kill both of you. Okay. Uh, After I turned into a deer god, he was born in. He's born January twenty eighth, so he was a Aquarius. Eat your flowers. Uh, eighteen. <laughs> he was one of them damn Aquariuses. <laughs> yeah. Eighteen ninety. An Aquarius. <laughs> okay. He's a convicted murder, <laughs> murderer, uh, and author. Oh. Which, who, which, who has what do you think talented. he called himself? How to murder people in right. five New, simple steps. Was he like, hey, I'm so, I'm the bird man. I'm an author or I'm the bird man. I'm a murderer. Right. I don't Aww. know. It uh, <laughs> ran away from home. I'm doing um, spoken word at the coffee shop. Ran away from morning. home when he was 13. So in um, 1903. And by the time he was 18, he was a pimp in, an Ala- in the Alaska Territory. Fuck yeah. Entrepreneur in Alaska. Uh-huh. Yeah, yep. Pimping a Eskimo pussy. Yeah. He, he knew he's, it he's pussy. actually the guy that came up with pimping ain't easy. Like that phrase. Is yeah, it? Yeah, maybe. No. Let's just stick to that. In, in 1909, he shot and killed a bartender who attacked one of his prostitutes. Man, this guy is hard. This guy's hard. I like this guy already. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan. Did he kill any yeah. deer? Mark's almost there. He protected somebody. I'm protected getting there. Somebody. Wait, I'm getting wait. There. This is the best part. A crime for which he was sentenced to 12 years in federal penitentiary. Man, we Just 12 should, years? I should have... <laughs> God damn. When was this, like, dude. the 30s or... Yeah, no, uh, 1909. Yeah, this... Oh. The crime Even better, was, you can the get cr- away with whatever. The crime was murder, murder but uh, when the judge found out that someone had disrespected his hoe, he was like, well, it's well, justified. Yeah, justified. Yeah, I yeah. feel like 1909 was the, was the era of, and you can't get away with this, where you... Did you murder that person? No. Okay. Well, we're gonna let yeah. you off. All right. Well, well it's your word against mine. Yeah. You know? Okay. He ain't saying anything. <laughs> no. Back then, he's like, it's not a person. It was a woman. Yeah. And they're oh. like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, oh, you're still dead. That's so okay. twelve years. You're very progressive. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna let you out of prison. So in the federal penitentiary, uh, he so he so he spent his twelve years in the federal penitentiary um, on Puget Sounds, McNeil Island. This is Seattle. Back yeah, all twelve years. Puget, Puget right? Sounds, is Seattle. Seattle. Yeah. So he gained a reputation as a dangerous inmate who frequently had confrontations with fellow inmates and staff. And in 1916, but this rape. is seven years later, he stabbed and killed a guard. With his dick. Man, <clears throat> Man this so, guy. I like this him. This guy is intense. Yeah. I like him. Did the, gar- did the guard insult one of his prostitutes? <laughs> right. Yeah. One of his, uh, yeah, hoes in the bathroom. Uh, Just so you know, when you get out of here, I'm going to find you and I'm going to I'm gonna fuck one of your prostitutes and not pay. I was that like, didn't go. Well, well that's just rude. Ah! <laughs> yeah. How presumptuous of you, sir. Uh, the rest of the Stroud story. was uh he was convicted of first degree murder uh, for the the guard mm-hmm. uh and sentenced to hang. But after several trials Oh, he, I thought that was like 14 years. <laughs> right. Uh <laughs> but after several trials yeah, his sentence officer, was commuted smart. to life imprisonment. 
in well, 19... Wh- huh? Why do they call him Birdman? We're getting there. Oh, okay. Call. In 1920, while in solitary confinement at Leavenworth, Stroud discovered a nest with three injured sparrows in the prison yard. He cared for them and within a few years had acquired a collection mm. of about... 300 canaries. Oh, my God. That escalated really quickly. (laughs) He's the pimping murderer with the heart of gold. He's pimping birds. That's what he's doing. He doesn't have the ladies, but he's got the sparrows or canaries or whatever. He began extensive research into birds after being granted equipment by a prison reforming warden. Stroud wrote Diseases of Canaries, which was smuggled out of Leavenworth Leavenworth and published in 1933. He's like, like, yeah, yeah. No, I heard about this because he's like, yeah, you know, sometimes uh, canaries actually uh, get this disease where they get heroin smuggled in their butts <laughs> and fly into prisons. It's this weird. Is, this is the same author as To Kill a Mockingbird. So this right? guy was like an amateur ornithologist and in prison and pimp, yeah, and murderer, murderer. Uh, he made important. This guy's a role model. This he, is what millennials need to read about. He made important contributions to avian pathology, and most notably, a cure for hemorrhagic septicemia, family what of diseases, gaining much respect and some level of sympathy among ornithologists and farmers. This guy is incredible. Ran a successful business from inside prison. His activities infuriated the prison staff, but he was eventually transferred to Alcatraz. Uh, after it was discovered, he'd been secretly making alcohol using some of the equipment in his cell. Because, <laughs> of, of course. That's what did it. That's what did it. Uh, Pimp's going to pimp. You know it's not the fact that this man has 300 canaries in his cell. <laughs> He's making toilet wine. we got to send him to Alcatraz. Well, uh, like, what What year did he die? Or is he uh, still 19, making... 1963. Okay. Of avian flu. Yeah. So 73 years old. <laughs> not not bad. Um, so, yeah, then, then after that, you. they yeah, transferred him to Alcatraz. Like I got it. Yeah. Did 17 years at Alcatraz. Uh, uh, they determined he was a psychopath, but had an IQ of 112. I'm pretty good. Uh, yeah, stripped that's... stripped of his birds and equipment. 112? It's actually not that great. It's I don't know what that is. Average. Like I think it's average. average IQ. Is, yeah. it, is it? I think so, for me. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know where it falls on the bell curve, but... It, if, even if it's medium, you gotta admit uh, this guy Jimmy, had some Jimmy looked that up. Panache. I okay, absolutely. This dude was. I a like this fucking guy worker. a lot. I like this guy a lot. First I of all, he to, was a pimp at age eighteen. <clears throat> I was an entrepreneur. Right. I have to yeah. point this out to you. I, I have to bring this up though, and this goes back to another Facebook thing, so you can tap out. But it's real yeah. funny though. No, it's Nick, real funny. Nick, just go go to the bathroom no, or yeah. something. I mean, you're not. In no, this, this is good. Oh no, I, no I did not really get involved. I did not get involved in this at oh, all. You're a witness to an argument. I was just. Uh, I was watch. I was lurking. Right. Oh God. So it was another. It was a political argument taking place on Facebook, and this it's guy, this guy who uh, was involved in this, trying to use. Uh, Big words. Trying, not, not big words, but he's trying to be wordy and sound smarter than what he is. And, um, oh, geez. Okay. Anyway, um, so I keep reading it. And at one point, his trump card to all this was that he said he had uh, one of the highest IQs ever recorded. Oh, it was 240 yeah. something. It was the highest in his well, town. That's not a thing. Clicked on his, uh, I clicked on his profile and, uh, or it was maybe in, he it was said in crayon. Maybe he said 180. This guy is a restaurant worker. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he yeah. should be a that. genius. He, he could should be a genius. <laughs> He's like Matt Damon Bro, in that movie. Yeah. Like, like, like scientific pursuits are just not challenging enough for me. No, you know, They're just uh, okay. But food service. That's I feel like uh, if you brag about your IQ or money, you don't. I do. Have I do have the breakdown right quick if you want to know. Uh, over 140 genius, near genius, 120 to 140, very superior intelligence, 110 to 119, superior intelligence, 90 to 109 is normal. One, okay. one, uh, okay. 180 to 240 is intense uh, restaurant worker. Okay. That's where it lies. Oh, yeah. Side. Yeah. Thanks, Sam. Yeah. Make the no problem, fuck man. out of some tater tots. Well, we definitely did it. And uh, so make sure to tell your friends. Yep. If you're a fan of us, pass it along. Share. Oh, don't we've worry. Been, we've don't. been posting on Facebook. Share, comment, uh, agree, disagree, guys. Yeah. Whatever. Don't worry about Twitter though. It's not interesting. It's no. not. Guys, it's really guys, not. Fuck it. You know, it, Twitter. Twitter's just not interesting. Who cares? You know, fuck it. Move on. Move on. Get Tune the fuck in. Out of here. Tune, Tune in you next can. week when we totally punk some bitch on fucking Twitter. <laughs> We just might, you know? Reddit. Oh, it's going to yeah. be Reddit. Oh, is it going to be Reddit? Oh, bro, my Instagram feed is blowing up. Bro, we're going to totally tweet Donald Trump. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>